Donald Trump's dramas continue, various legal challenges facing him at the moment. Stephen Loosely joins me as Senior Fellow at the US Study Centre. And Stephen, you wrote a very insightful piece, if I might say, in The Australian this week, making the comparison between the Trump drama and O.J. Simpson, and it's more than just the motorcade or that, uh, that helicopter vision of the... The chase, it's a lot more than that, isn't it? Explain to our viewers some of the similarities there. Uh, there, there is a great deal uh, that's similar between the O.J. Simpson trial in Los Angeles in 95 and uh, the current uh, uh, trial in Lower Manhattan in New York of former uh, President uh, Trump. If you like, uh, uh, Kieran, at the, at the intersection of uh, politics, the law and media in Western societies, particularly the United States, lies celebrity. And we see that in both these episodes. For example, the white Ford Bronco chase in LA, you know, from memory down the I-5, was watched by 95 million Americans. It's quite an extraordinary impact. We don't know yet how many millions watched the, the Trump motorcade, but there is very definite connecting tissue in the shape of one of the senior lawyers who defended Simpson, part of the dream team. I'm talking about Harvard uh, academic, I think he's retired now, Alan Dershowitz, who also uh, defended Donald Trump in the well of the US House, House of Representatives on impeachment. And by, in both those circumstances, winning in the, in the court or before the Congress, all very well, but what uh, the, the defenders were really trying to do, the defendant legal teams, as they are doing now for Donald Trump, is win in the court of public opinion. So it's quite a remarkable uh, similarity and, and reflects uh, American political and, uh, and legal culture. And to an extent, we have that here. But uh, it is uh. a circumstance whereby celebrity lying at that uh, 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 confluence of, of media, politics and the law will generate this type of uh, excitement. And I'm sure we're going to see more of it. Celebrity and uh, and politics. We've certainly seen a lot of it with Donald Trump during his time in office, and now as he runs again for 2024. In fact, he's returned to uh, social media or well, Instagram today after that ban that had been put in place uh, for a number of years. And the th the thing that he promoted was his next edition of digital cards, which were derided when he first announced it, those digital cards, but they sold out within a very short period of time. And now he's there with round two on Instagram today. So that celebrity focus is something that he feeds into almost on a daily basis right now. And he's very good at it. A, a friend of mine made an astute observation to me just recently is that Trump never ever stopped being a wrestling promoter and he knows how to cut through. And he's galvanised his base again. He's always persecuted, according to him. He's always the victim, a celebrity victim, but a victim nonetheless. And these fundraising appeals off the, the back of the charges preferred by uh, uh, the New York County District Attorney, uh, Alvin Bragg, have really worked for him in terms of millions upon millions of dollars flowing into his coffers. Whether or not he'll yeah. spend it on campaign or legal costs remains to be seen. But he understands celebrity better than most. Now, James Callahan, a former British Labor PM, made a, a very telling observation uh, at the outpouring of grief when uh, the Princess of Wales died tragically in that uh, car accident in, in Paris. He said, we have a, a society in which organised religion has been replaced by worship of celebrity. And that's what we're seeing again in the uh, in the Trump trial, and it's what we've seen in other circumstances. But it is is far more pronounced. Anything to do with uh, Donald J. Trump seems to draw the cameras, uh, and it will continue to do so. Yeah.